like his beard. Adam, stop growing. Chef Ramsay didn't like your beard? Uh, he did in the beginning. I think he just that was a good joke. I'd rather have him insult the beard than anything exactly, else. Exactly, you're cooking. <laughs> the then cooking it becomes okay. personal. Yeah. Well, anyone who's seen any of Chef Gordon Ramsay's shows here on Fox 6 knows that he can be intimidating. Milwaukee chef Adam Pavlock joins us this morning with more on our Fox 6 Sizzling Summer. You are a contestant. You've been here. This is your second weekend. I'm like, Adam, yeah. do you ever get like wild and crazy? I do get wild and crazy. Okay. I get, with you, Kim, we're going we're gonna to get wild and crazy for these scallops. Okay, so we're going to make a, a nice summer easy dish. It can yes. be intimidating because you say scallops and that kind of... It can be scary, yes. but we're doing that today to show you how easy it is. Okay. What we do is the, uh, we have our sea scallops here, but super I saw hot that first, pan. You salted them, and we that do. was important. Yes, you salt right before you go into the pan. Okay. Up here. Uh huh. Up here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Drop them in. Uh huh. We have our sizzling pan. You want it hot, you know. So How you do want... you know not that you're not overcooking them? Uh, it's a lot of years of practice. Okay, is kind it, of does touch. It color you know, it, it will it, color. Yeah. It, so okay. we're looking for a little bit of browning. Since these aren't the really big U10s, the small ones, a little uh -huh. bit thinner. We just want a little bit of crust, a little bit of color. Flip them over, turn okay. the heat off, and then we'll plate up. Awesome. And this is one of the appetizers we did right on the show. Okay. Did a bunch. And of these. what was the feedback that you got? Uh, always good. Always yeah, it was good. I, I didn't get yelled at a lot on that show, yeah. which I was happy about. I, I was, was actually... asking, like, what is it like to open yourself up to criticism? You know, I think we uh, we as chefs and restaurant, anyone is we have a lot of criticism all the time. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit different with Gordon Ramsay, but it made me so much better. I wish now, after going through it two years later and taking what he taught me, uh -huh. if I went back there, it'd be a whole different ballgame. Really, what's yeah. the one thing that you do different? It's just all confidence. Confidence about everything, yeah. not even just about the cooking, but just how you move in the kitchen and how you command your team and. You're here for a reason. That's what he always told me. Is you're here for a reason. So yeah. I always take that. That's my my thing. That I say to my house. And you're here for here. a reason. Um, you're at Egg and Flour. You also bought some swag. Yes. Um, doing great things there. And so you did bring some things home from uh, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, including this recipe. Okay. Um, and what is that that you? Um, so this is like a like summer corn puree. We okay. just roasted that, a little bit of heavy cream and butter, put it in there. Okay. We have uh, these sweet chili peppers that we just pickled really quick, trying okay. to plate this fast. Should I be? Yeah, you can flip those. Go okay. ahead, get right in there. There we go, there's some nice color. Okay. This is a little bit of corn and bacon vinaigrette, like a little relish that we're doing. Okay. And now the most important time, the scallops. There we go, one-handed with there the spoon. Go. That's pretty go. good. And I, uh, I was wondering, you know, sometimes you see injuries in the kitchen, and I, your time there, were you injured at all? Uh, no one ever knows, but I got injured on the very last finale and episode. And it wasn't even you. And it wasn't me. Someone burned me. So yeah. it was pretty, uh, I had a good run right into the last episode. But it, it happens a lot in the kitchen, but we were all good on Hell's Kitchen, which I was also very surprised that what that happened. What made you start um, cooking? Uh, I'm a 75% Sicilian family. My mom, Rosalie, amazing chef. My brother cooks. It's just in my blood. It's what I know. It, what's, it's, I'm comfortable when I'm in the kitchen and making But taking food. it from in the kitchen, again, to being out in the public, and that honestly is, I'm not a cook whatsoever, and one of the reasons is because I take it personally. Yeah, it's tough. You know, I bring a dish for Thanksgiving, and it sits all by itself. No, untouched? Untouched. All right. And that hurts. It does. It does. Next time you got to just ask them, what do you want me to bring specifically? So Cups. Yeah. It's or what they drink, usually drinks. say. Drinks. drinks. Or yeah. ice. Yeah, they can't be mad at that. Bring yeah. a bottle of booze ice. or something. So how do, how do I get over that? For me, I would say just get better. Get better. You know, learn uh, from what they don't like and make changes and... I adjust all the time. Okay. I'm adjusting every day. You are adjusting. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. And you said they um, tried to bring out more of your personality. And so they actually Definitely. had you stand in front of a green screen? Yeah. Just kind of a practice run, I guess, to see yeah. how crazy I could really get. Okay. <laughs> That's what Yeah. So there's all kinds of things. But uh, thanks. Maybe this Thanksgiving will be different, Adam. Of course, as part of Fox 6's Sizzling Summer, we're giving away two $125 gift certificates to some of Milwaukee's top restaurants. Our winners today are Karen S. from Mequon and Bob R. from Oak Creek. Congratulations. Our last chance to win is next Wednesday. Sign up, fox6now.com. Just click the sizzling summer icon on our homepage. And don't forget, an all-new MasterChef Legends airs right here on Fox 6 tonight at 7.
always the ice. Yeah, that's just, right. You just, can't go wrong with just it. Bring the ice. Thank you for having me today. No, thank you. Of course. All right. Fox Six continues after the break.